I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day, all day. The merit scientist is glad. 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 You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The, the, the merit science. Really, really. Budweiser tastes great. Hey, oh. We need to figure out how to get Budweiser and um, Raging Bitch or Flying Dog to fucking sponsor us. Sponsor us? Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to have to get a lot of likes, a lot of views, and a lot of people who are into our stuff. Oh, um, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. We are here live. Uh, I guess this is live, right? It's it's oh yeah, it's a live recording. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are live. It is Richard and Jared, R.J. and Jared, and our special guest today is uh, none other than Oliver, the pizza slice, the slice of life. As I Oliver like to... is the man. Yep. Welcome uh, back, Oliver. Oliver, it's good to see you. Can you say hello to everybody? All good, right. Good yeah, job. Yeah. There, good, guy. good job, man. So we are back today. <laughs> we are here with the second episode of the Mad Scientist Lab. Uh, thanks to all the viewers and the people who supported us through the first episode, uh, it, we got a lot of uh, a, a decent amount of views. We got uh, close to 100. Close to 100, man. That's um, not bad for just kind of. Let's preface this as this is technically the uh, two and a half it's episode. A, yeah, yeah, the second and a half. We did uh, unfortunately run into some technical difficulties uh, during the Fourth of July weekend. So we did a great freaking podcast yeah we had some really good material unfortunately uh it, it was not recorded uh due to no, it uh, was recorded the audio didn't come out which is the most important part yeah then people would just watch us drink beer for silent in silence for like, <laughs> some charlie like, chapel yeah, type yeah, shit. yeah right with like a slice of pizza sitting in between us and <laughs> like, what the fuck is that okay. actually we should just put that up for like <laughs> i mean i wouldn't make it an hour long maybe for a few minutes just for some shits and giggles uh but uh, for 30 seconds of, <laughs> of just us drinking beer and talking shit Shit. Yeah, hey man, that's what that's what we're Inside. here for. And and I'll put it in black and white too. Hey man, I'm always down for the uh, what is it the, the <laughs> what is it the, the vintage look? <laughs> put cutscenes in there with words in the middle. Explain hey man, that's going. not actually a bad idea. No, I think I might do that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. But again, we just want to thank everybody who uh, showed a lot of support and gave us feedback from the first episode. Uh, like I said, or like we said collectively, uh, it did do rather well just for being. I guess the test run, so to Definitely. speak. Definitely, it was a for yeah for uh, uh, throw some shit on the wall. As one of my mentors used to say, I think he still says it. Um, throw some shit on the wall, see if it sticks, yeah. <laughs> and clean it up as you go along. Yeah, hey, so. that's uh, that's some ver- that's really good advice, actually. Because if not, if you don't, if that what that basically what that saying is is instead of just having ideas, fucking do it. Yeah, just kind of just throw everything out there at yeah, once, right? Because you yeah. never know. It's not, it could work. It might not work. You never know. But, again, like w- with the difficulties we had, if we didn't even do it, we wouldn't we wouldn't have gotten the practice that we got and that we had gotten. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay. <coughs> so uh, so uh, the 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 podcast that we were doing the last time, the, the, the second, I guess, hour of the show, uh, there was something going on uh, with SpaceX, and Jared is a very big expert when it comes to uh, things of that material and nature, and he's very, very knowledgeable about it. You just not, I'm not an expert. Well, you're. Well, I mean, you're smarter than I. You have a lot more uh, knowledge. I might have to pull some stuff. Yeah. Up, well, well, here, so if, if like you have to pull it up, adult. that's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. So um, there was something going on on Facebook Live. They were showing the launch of a what was it? Uh, like a, a missile, a satellite, was, um, a rocket? Like, well, it was a rocket. Um, uh, I don't know the exact mission for that one, but uh, Falcon Nine. Oh yeah, and I remember stage. Uh, Falcon Nine is the stage, the, the the first stage of a rocket. The top part is whatever cargo they send up. That's the capsule. Okay. Um, but the significance of the Falcon Nine rocket is that they finally, the uh, I think at two or three times, they've been able to reuse the first stage <clears throat> and and rocket tree or rocket science the first stage of of a mission which is the first stage of the, the first engine okay um that burns when you see it to lift off all right that is the most expensive part of the entire mission 
All right, and you're saying they're learning how to recycle that that process? They have done it. SpaceX, which is a, a privatized company um, headed by Elon Musk. Okay, and it's not associated with NASA. Or or well, I do remember you saying that they do get some, what is it, information from NASA? Or No. Um, what it is, they're, like, again, they're a private company, so just like Lockheed Martin or Boeing would contract uh, get contracts from NASA okay. to build certain things, that's what SpaceX does. All right. But so all that money that they get paid from NASA slash the government goes into their company as, as a private company. So they can do whatever the hell they want with that money. All right. I mean, aside from whatever the contract says. All right. That's that's some pretty interesting stuff. And uh, we did uh, we did get more in depth with the topic, uh, especially with space. But excuse me. That's my second beer and I'm already over here burping up a storm. Uh, my apologies. No, but uh, we also got into the debate or not even debate, but uh, there is a theory that is, I want to say, popular amongst uh, some people. I'm, uh, I, I forgot uh, about I, I did, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we did have a few. So, uh, I actually asked you if if you're a believer in the flat Earth. I said, fuck no. Okay. So, we have a you know a very good confirmation from Jared that he absolutely does not believe in this theory. Now, the, it, 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 there's too much, I don't know, man, like, too much what, like, uh, what is it like? Uh, I don't want to say common sense, but is it proven science that says uh, the Earth is round? Not to mention, of course, they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's fake, it's CGI, blah blah blah." Because there's there's websites dedicated to the flat Earth theory. Do you know how this theory came about? That's actually I've never thought about. Reci- like, I don't know how it recently came out. Oh, like back back in the day, what, what was it? Um, well, yeah, Galileo. Yeah, somebody you know way back yeah. when thought the Earth was flat, but well, I sound like a dumbass. Like, we learned that in school, and I'm over here asking where this theory came about. Well, no, no. But back then, yes, there were, there was, there was theories that, that the Earth was flat. There was also a theory that the sun moved around the Earth, um, that, uh, what they call that geocentric uh, solar system. Okay. As opposed to a heliocentric solar system, which is the sun. All right. Now, can you explain that to me more in depth so I don't, like, stare off into the distance like a dumbass? <laughs> Helio basically means sun. Okay. Uh, r- roughly translated, I think. I have to look that one up. It's like the sun but, god or something he- like that? Yeah. <laughs> something like that. All right. But helio is for the sun, um, which means heliocentric center. Okay. Okay. All right. So the, s- the sun's in the center. Uh, geocentric is the earth, which is you geo. Know, made, yeah. Okay. It's made of rock. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and dirt and, and it, stuff. So and center centric which is okay. center again but all right because <clears throat> i was just uh, the reason i brought that up is because it is a is uh becoming more of a popular theory or i don't even say it, like do you think it's a fad do you really think like because i'm starting <laughs> like the more and more i see it i think i don't know if we're being trolled or if people were trolling well i think that it is both you think it's both I, I, it's definitely a fact i Matter of fact, I, one person who is has is a viewer of, of this podcast at slash listener um, believes in it. That's fine. Now I believe. Now I I believe I know the gentleman you speak of. He's yeah, a, uh, he's a and, very nice and, guy. And and he's very nice guy. And and I still would like to have him. I'm thinking about having him on for uh, baseball and maybe even talking about this subject as well. That would be a. Uh... That would be actually pretty interesting. That would man. be interesting. Uh, just because, because uh, I've known him uh, a vast majority of my throughout my, I want to say my Adult middle school life. <sighs> Your middle school life. How long were you in middle school, sir? Long ass time, bro. I'm asking, <laughs> I just, I was like, where did this flat Earth theory come about? And you know, you learn that in like the fourth grade. You know what I mean? I'm like, I, I don't. Again, back to what we were saying about the being a. Some people are trolling, a hundred percent. Okay, but there's some fucking damn good trolls out there. Um, others are true believers, uh, bec- just because a lot, I, the truth is out a there. lot of people don't believe, they, they don't believe anything the government says. So they, one of the theories is because part of it is, oh, NASA's fake everything they do. They're lying to us, this, that, and the other thing. You can't fake everything. Yeah. See, not, I, not as many, not, not having as many people you have who work on these things. You think if somebody's not going to tell the truth, like, come on, man. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't know what, because I don't, you know, I don't research this stuff enough, but I do see it's becoming, like I said, it's becoming increasingly uh, popular. Um, But with the whole conspiracy theory with, like, the government 
and not believing the government or anything about NASA and all this other stuff. Where do you? I'm just it just I'm curious as to where all this this whole thought process comes from. Like uh, like for example, uh, in correlation with you know space and everything, before we started the podcast, um, do you think that they faked the moon landing, dude? <sighs> I know it's a. I know it's. Say, I know it's a very. I'm gonna say no. Um, only because they they've they have, there's telescopes they can shoot they can look up that far and actually see. Okay. The um the site the landing. So there so there, there is like visual confirmation that it has happened. Yes. Okay, because I keep seeing these. Now I well I guess I'm a millennial. I don't know if I like to even say that out loud. Or if I'm even comfortable with that, but I know that the only information that I I know of the moon landing is what I was obviously told as a child. Everything that I do see on television and the knowledge that I've learned from some of my friends. Now I'm starting to see posts and all this other stuff, and they're saying, "Oh, we can't go back to the moon." And then they think you they went to the moon back in what the 60s or 70s, and the the, the ship yeah the 60s. And the ship was, like, literally, like, held together with, like, cardboard and tape. And it was just, like, a real gen- – like, have you seen pictures of the ship? Like, or the capsule or whatnot? Yeah, but I don't know where they get the cardboard from. No, I, I'm just throwing materials out there. Oh. I, don't, I don't mean necessarily cardboard. But it's basically, like, like a cardboard box. It's just a piece of junk. And then they went all the way to space in it back in the 60s. And now they're saying that we can't go back, even though we have more advanced technology now. Um, I don't think that it's, it's not a fact that we can't go back now it's the fact that it's not a priority now okay that makes sense what do you think is uh, nasa's biggest priority or or just space exploration in general uh, I, I know they're working on a bunch of stuff like the one of the biggest things is that i've read recently was they're working on trying to get a piece of um an asteroid and bring it back what significance would that asteroid have or maybe the minerals or what they, they can see yeah. what kind of minerals are in it um uh, because there's theories that the minerals that are on Earth is from asteroids bashing and like b- th- during the beginning of, of of time and I guess well the beginning of the formation of the solar system. I see. Not, not time. Do you do you believe in the big? Uh, do you believe in the uh, the Big Bang theory, man? Like, not to get into religion or anything like that, but do you really? Yeah, we're, we're getting deep. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not trying this, to be like. Is, some of this is kind of beyond my. Expert, in, uh, not expertise. Yeah, my, see, you're an expert. My, I told you. My knowledge. He's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. On, okay. Because now you're talking about theoretical physics and um, Big Bang. There's other theories out there. Um, I, 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 I don't, again, I don't want to get too deep into it. Yeah, no, I don't know enough about all of them to to well, even well, try to comment on it. Hey, well, that's something we can definitely discuss at a later date. I was just kind of curious because I know. Space exploration is is a very very uh, well. I personally, I'm not a big fan of heights, so I could never see myself getting in a rocket ship and launching into the Earth's atmosphere and just like grab. Now it does sound I, cool, but I think I'd like kind of you know like shit my pants a little bit. You know, I mean, just saying. I wouldn't say. Uh, I'm I don't I'm not afraid of heights. There are certain times that I'm afraid of heights. Like if I'm on a fucking platform and I have to look down. Oh yeah, like that's fucking scary. Yeah, I've seen Vertigo, man. That's just... But if I'm in an airplane, or if I'm on a roller coaster, I, I don't get scared. You know, I actually the the, the funny thing about an airplane, uh, my 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 roommate, uh, he's no longer my roommate, but we are still good friends. We are still trying to find, excuse me, uh, another place to live. He actually now I have been on a plane twice in my life, okay, and it was when I was like five years old and I was like eight or nine years old. I just flew out to visit some family. The flight's not long, maybe a two-hour flight. And uh, if that, and when I was young, I had no problems with it. But uh, a few years ago, he did drop me off at the airport so I could go visit my family. Is that the one where you you said fuck it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so granted, my family um, does live several states away. And he dropped me off early in the morning up at the airport. I have my bag. Now, granted, I do. uh, I was a little bit nervous since I hadn't done it in so long. And I got through the gate. Now, granted, I did get a really cheap ticket because of one of my family members. He does have, I guess, rewards points uh, through through the airline so that my ticket was like 15 20 dollars at most so i get there i get into the i guess the waiting the seating area where everybody's waiting wait 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 wait. hold up 
I didn't know this part of the story. Yeah, yeah. See, so so, so I so you went all the way in to yeah. I went all the you way. You went in. through security and everything. I went through security and everything. Holy shit, dude! So I went through security and everything. So I go there. Mind you, folks, this is like not. This is after nine eleven. Yeah, this is obviously. <laughs> but, well, obviously, so TSA was up probably up sticking fingers dude. up his butt and all kinds of shit. So it's. I mean, it's. it's, it's what is it for the culture? <laughs> Whatever, Whatever you did for that culture. No, right? no, I'm just messing with you, man. But the only thing I really had was a bag of clothes, and I did have my Xbox with me. I'm not going to lie. I, I threw it in a big bag, and they were like, what's this? I was like, it's my Xbox, and they were oh, cool that's with where, it. Oh, well. They were cool with it, man. As long as and, you put it in a separate bag. Yeah, no, no, of course not. Um, Of course I would. Uh, but anyway, I'm sitting there. I'm waiting. I'm getting real nervous. I'm watching all these planes take off, and everybody around me, they're, they're sitting there. They're eating breakfast drinking like nothing's about to happen because these people either are one not afraid of r afraid of flying or they do it frequently where they're just accustomed to it mm. now i haven't done this in almost 20 years and so i was watching all these planes take off man and i just i couldn't do it man i said fuck it i was sitting there for maybe a half hour i was getting all fidgety i called a cab i know I, i'm a, I, <laughs> I know this is fucked up but called a cab got in my car and then I just drove all the way to my destination. It did take me about most of the day. But uh, I did kind of... Where uh, was your car? I was at my apartment. Uh, it was at my apartment. Oh, So, so, so you it, took a cab. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yeah. You went to the airport. You took a cab to the airport? No, no, my roommate dropped me okay, off. So okay, so you got dropped off at the airport. You went through baggage claim... <laughs> just talking about it out loud, you know, just like it's like one of those like guilty secrets that I don't tell people because they're gonna look at me differently. And now the world no, but knows. It's I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so you went through baggage claim, walk, stroll down, walk through security. Did you wait in line? No, no, oh, man, there was no line. It was like it was like right when the airport like well I oh, open. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I mean, I was there for maybe forty minutes at most, forty five minutes at most. And I know, but still, you went. Yeah, I, I did go through a process. I did puss out and and drive. But man, I'm telling you, I don't. Do you know what it is? I think it's because I was by myself and I didn't have anybody to like really go with me. Mm -hmm. That it kind of like if somebody was with me, I probably would have just gone because I would have no choice. Is that the same thing with with uh, when he when he went to Vegas and he was y'all were making fun of him? Oh well, yeah, because believe it or not, he had actually never been on a flight himself yet. So I know he did go with a couple people that we know, and um, and I'm sure he said it was fine. He enjoyed it, but I'm sure it was much easier for him to get on with other the, with other people. Yeah. Yeah. So I think just because I didn't have somebody there with me, I think that's I, if 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 I was there with you and I'm like, hey man, I don't know about this. You can be like, hey man, have a beer, relax, it's cool. We'll be there yeah, in an I hour. I told you to have a beer regardless. Yeah. See, so I think I yeah, know. I, I I've been I don't know. I've been flying since I was like. The first time I went on a plane, I was probably like eight or nine. Yeah. Went to Florida um, by myself. But that was back when kids could fly by themselves. Yeah, no, one of my, one of the two plane trips that I've taken, it was I went by myself. And so it's not like, I think when you're a kid, you don't have that sense of fear or, or worry that you do as an adult. And obviously this is, you know, before 9-11 and everything, before security and, you know, just all that craziness is going on. So I didn't have a care in the world. But now, man, I'm I'm older now, and I'm I'm just looking at everything taking off, and I'm watching the news, and all this crap's going on. It's like, hey, man, you know, I think I'd rather stay on the yeah, ground. He, and did you know? You fucked yourself up by watching it, the it, news it, before yeah, you yeah, got yeah, on the yeah, airplane. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, so I remember even when I actually got to my destination, my uncle was like, you know that the flying is the safest form of traveling. You know, he said you have a higher chance of getting an accident in a vehicle on the ground than yeah. you do of the plane just randomly falling out of the sky. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact, and that's a statistic. There's, uh, a, there's, um, this was a while ago, and it, it might be more now, but um, I read in a magazine a few years ago. There's something like 150,000 flights a day over just over the United States. 150,000. But this was like years ago. It could be more now. That's crazy to me, man. Like, I, I've never really thought of that. How many yeah. come and go throughout the day? But it, I would it, never it, think it, of a number it, like go that. Go to. Man. Shoot, go to um, National and just watch how many planes take off and, and land. We used to do that, uh, uh, me, my mom, and my dad. Over at Haynes Point, right? Yeah, just watch the planes, watch the planes, planes, planes yeah, take yeah. off. Yeah, Cause on you a could nice go, day. There was a spot, that, I think it's still there, there's a spot you can go uh, right under where the planes go yeah, over ahead. You, yeah, we used to have like a picnic Rock, and stuff. <laughs> jet fuel dripping on you. Yeah, oh, God, dude. <laughs> Don't make it worse. I'm trying to overcome, I guess, this. this, uh, well, this. You weren't in it, but now, 
I have seen videos. There's this one video of this plane taking off, and I guess the wind caught it, and that motherfucker just said, Oh, dude, yeah. See, like, <laughs> see, I obviously think of the worst case scenario, even if nothing is going wrong. So, I, yeah, I think I obviously psyched myself out, and I was like, nah, I can't do this, I can't do this. So I did get in the car, and I did drive, but hopefully one day I will overcome this fear and, and obviously get back on a plane and see what's going on uh, with, you know, with uh, what's going Stop on. Stop being a bitch, man. I know, man. I feel like such a puss right now telling that story, but everybody now knows that infamous story. Oh, man, when I uh, when I called my roommate and told him. Dude, I did not know you went to <laughs> his, security and everything. Yeah, his, that's uh, the hardest part of even fucking flying, to be I honest. Didn't, I didn't even. Did you go through the x-ray? Did they, did, they, did they look at your balls when you went through? Nah, man. They're like, <laughs> the fuck. I mean, they're, if they have to, it's okay. No, there's this thing, like, there was this thing wait. going around with the x-ray machine where you put your hands up. Did yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I did do that. Well, there was a thing back in the, um, right when they first put those in where people were like, oh, they could see our private parts and this, that, and the other thing. But now you go through it, it just says red or green. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I actually didn't know that just because, like I said, I've only, uh, what? You only well, I mean, I've flown a lot, to, well, I don't want to say a lot, but a few times in the last few years. So. Hey, man, I mean, it's in, and the crazy thing is my uncle travels so much for business he's he like lives on a plane so he was yeah. like i see that's too much for me like i i like traveling but i don't want to just be on a plane all the fucking time like i want to go to where i'm at do what i gotta do for a week or month however long i'm there and he, then just fly be, back yeah just be done with it yeah he yeah. uh <clears throat> he does have a very good job uh Oh God, he told me what he does. He basically works uh, for McGraw Hill. It is uh, the textbook company um, mm. that distributes to the elementary schools, I believe, out in that area or just throughout the country. And I remember him telling me, I was like, Oh, you mean the 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 propaganda they're printing into? Is it propaganda? I, 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 I haven't opened. Say, one. Really? I haven't opened a textbook in like ten know. years, man. And, uh, open a history book or something, bro. Well, man, I remember. <coughs> I remember them books were. No, that, books. But I digress. No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. But I remember basically asking him his him, story. Hey, by the way, no, I I do remember that being what the history thing, his story. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of, uh, yeah, that is kind of like kind of mind fucks you a little bit. But uh, I remember asking him. I was like, do you like, like, are you used to traveling? Uh, obviously, is by now. I was like, do you ever still get scared about? He's like, nah. I was like, he was like, I once had breakfast in California, and then by like four o'clock. You know, that evening I was in New York having dinner. You know, he said, yeah. yeah, so he's just so accustomed to doing it now that it doesn't even bother him. But somebody like me who is obviously not done it in years, I did freak out and drive my car. And I do like driving my car because I deliver pizzas and I make pizzas along with good pal Oliver. That's right, bud. So Does that's a, Oliver actually sit in the car with you? Uh, no, I, and if he did, I would not tell anybody. Uh, I'm just going to let you know right <laughs> That's now. a yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, I'm just going to let you know that this <laughs> That's a yes. Uh, this guy gets a lot more chicks than I do, so having him around I mean, sometimes. shit. I'm just saying. He's, he's got the same name as the Arrow, which, good segue, by the way. Oh, I just hey. started that series yesterday. So the Arrow, that's on Netflix? Not, not the Arrow, Arrow. Arrow, it's, it's, oh, it's on Netflix, yes. Is it on W, or am I thinking CW. of the CW, okay. The Flash is on CW also. Okay. But the Arrow started before The Flash, like two seasons before. Okay. Um, and I, at first I was like, uh, I, I didn't think it was any good because I was like, it's on CW, blah, blah, blah. And, it's, and I thought the same thing about The Flash, but I was like, The Flash has kind of been. just because of the channel? It is yeah, the yeah, quality yeah. of the show I, is not going to be. Growing up, I thought, I thought that CW and WDC20 or whatever it was, would, would, all the shitty shows were on there. Yeah, well, a lot of the stuff we grew up watching was on like major channels too yeah. so but go um, ahead the but growing up the flash was was one of my favorite characters just because flash was yeah fast I mean, <laughs> you can run around the world in what in like a second or something yeah like that, super fast like faster than superman i think yeah cause um but so you're enjoying train of thought. Damn so it. so you're enjoying. So you just started Arrow. Oh, so you're enjoying. Yeah, it. yeah. So uh, I thought the same. I, I gave Flash a chance. The Flash a chance. It's, it's hard to keep because one is the Flash and one is Arrow. Arrow. Um, but I gave the Flash a chance when it first came on, and I just been hooked from that ever since. I'm definitely gonna have to check it out. I I've been, been trying to tell you, man. I'm I, trying to tell everybody that show is fucking awesome. It, crazy uh, said roommate that I was just telling that story about. Who I'm sure when I came home he did want to kick kick me in the balls, but he. 
he is actually a big fan of both of those shows. Yeah. And he, when we were living together, he was like, yo, man, you definitely need to check this out. But me being a, the, the, the nerd that I am, I'm, <laughs> on my free time, I'm mostly on the sticks, you know, sometimes. Well, I mean, give, give, it, give it a chance. Um, but like I was saying, the, everyone on – everyone that knows I watch The Flash was like, man, you got to watch Arrow. Arrow is good too. And I was like ah. – and then I was looking for something to watch yesterday. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> well, just, just... So I just, thought, I, just, I just played the pilot, and I was like, shit, this shit is good. And then the next episode, the next episode, and I'm like – this shit is good. Like I'm only like four episodes in of the first season, and I'm like, uh, damn it! What? I, why did I like wait so long? And now I gotta catch up with the show. I mean, at least you're getting attached to it. Uh, what I have been watching, I am a big. Uh, this was big when uh, we were very young, but I'm a big fan of Voltron. Uh, Defender, I, I watched the, the first season. Yeah, so I I'm I know they're putting out a third season, but I just recently finished up the second season not too long ago. A very good remake. I'm, I was actually when they announced it, I was very excited because it's one of the only few. Because nowadays, even though there's so much TV, like I feel like quality TV is sometimes hard to come by. So I, it takes a lot for me to invest in a show now. All the quality TV, I, I don't care what anybody says, all the quality TV is on streaming services. They're, oh, regular oh, TV, the, regular oh. TV is shit, like, 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 channel it, TV. Yeah, it is, uh, oh man, sorry, but, um, no, I think you're right, because uh, Netflix uh, does have a lot of those exclusive shows now, yeah. uh, such as House Netflix of Cards. Netflix Originals. Yeah, I man. have not gotten into House Cards. I keep hearing it's good, but... That is a, that, that is a really good show. Kevin Spacey is... A politics phenom- shit gets on my nerves, though. Yeah, but this is... It, I wouldn't view it as a... Like, there's a political background to it, and there's obviously... You're going to see it in there, but this is a very... This has a very dark undertone to it as well, so it is a very well-written show and kevin spacey just being the phenomenal actor that he oh, is yeah. uh he definitely brings character to uh, frank underwood so that is something i have i know the newest season is out i've only gotten to the like halfway through the third season but i definitely recommend it when you do have the time and if you do that i will watch the flash wait then, hold on hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no one said that if i do something well, no. no come on man I, look if multiple <laughs> people are telling you to first of all i haven't even finished um what's the 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 um uh, not El Chapo, the other guy. Narcos? Escobar. Yeah, oh. Narcos. I haven't finished the second season of Narcos yet. Yeah, I actually have not started it. I've only watched the first. I get lazy after, especially at night. I, I, I usually watch stuff when I get home from work. Like, yeah, like when I'm most adults. Winding down to go to sleep. Um, and at night, I don't want to read subtitles. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't I, speak I, enough Spanish to be able yeah, to not I, read them. I, I understand completely, especially about having like the, the closed captioning on and whatnot. Uh, well, even if there are subtitles within the show, I still have closed captioning on just because uh, I do have somebody who sleeps across the hall from me. That's like, that's like I know somebody who's like that. I, I, I can't do it. I, I'm a, being a film fanatic, a, a video guy, like, I feel like so I get annoyed when the, the mouse. If I'm if someone's watching a movie on a computer yeah. and the mouse is on top of the movie. Oh yeah, no, that's I get fucking annoyed. So closed caption. I think that would annoy me way. too. Close, I just closed caption on a movie is annoying as shit. Like if you can't hear, then turn it up, or you just need to get your ears checked. But, oh, shit, <laughs> or your understanding checked. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> anyway, so oh, my bad. <laughs> but I just know people who are like that, and it's just it's like weird, man. I'm like, dude, like. Well, no. If you do you it speak in the, English, you don't need closed caption. <laughs> no, I'm saying like it, at nighttime. This is when I now if I use it in the middle of the day with the TV at like 35 and I can hear it perfectly. I don't need them, but I generally use them at night. Oh, well, I can understand that. Um, I guess uh, another uh, really good show is uh, God. What was I going to say? Is uh, the People versus O.J. Simpson? I know I that heard is, about that. I know it's uh, That's one of those TV things. Yeah, but that is a very, very good show, man. Mm. That is probably one of the only shows in the last few years that. I was like every week when it came on, I was excited to watch it. There, I think it's only about ten episodes, but man, that is a knockout show. So that if you guys have not seen that, any anybody listening uh, have has not checked that out. That is a phenomenal show. Uh, even though we know what happened. Yeah, well, it's not even so. <laughs> yeah, we all know what happened with that, but uh, it's not so much about what happened. It's about, uh, what I heard he might be getting out soon. Yes, I did read that. I did not read too much into it. Me either, but he's um, like he's coming up for parole soon. Yeah, I don't know. He was supposed to do 
Well, I, I think years, we. I, he, I think he it's was safe eligible to say, for ten years. The pro- probation, the promotion, I, whatever that shit's called. I think it's safe to say that uh, at this point in time, we know he's a dumbass uh, just because of the like he got. He went to jail for what robbery? Dude, he might have CTE, bro. Okay, that's. Okay, if he does have a condition, I'm not trying to shit on the condition or, or, or if that's causing him to and act I'm not, a certain and way. And don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to condone anything that he did um, if he did it. Okay. If the, yeah, glove, if the, gl- uh, if the, the glove don't fit, you must have quit. quit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dude, watch the show. I'm telling you, that shit is super badass, man. I, I, I don't yep. know. See, and I heard this, too. I heard it because, like, I, I grew up during that time. I was watching the this trial. Yeah. No, I saw the Bronco I, Chase, I, too, man. Yeah, I, and I heard people say that or even though I lived through it at the time, like, I, watching it and, and seeing some different details about everything, made them like it, it made you so interesting i just haven't yeah. had a chance to yeah to it get gives to you it a, a much better in-depth look of what i guess like the prosecution and everybody went through in order for the trial to you know to the, for the outcome that you know eventually came so it, it's just a very interesting take on just it's like a different perspective and so we're having and, like a deep conversation and fucking oliver's like hey, yeah, yeah man, what yeah, the yeah. fuck you guys want some pizza man yeah no nah, man he's a uh, cannibal yeah dude he's uh he's a, he's a <laughs> silent guy but uh like i said man he does attract a lot of attention he's a cool dude he doesn't really say much but it's all right man he's he's cool with me man he, he does that uh, bro he uh, yep well, found it he does always end up in some uh strange situations but uh, i remember one time i brought a uh, a pizza hut pizza home and he was waiting for me on the staircase Oh, yeah. You mean that video? Did you do a video for that? Yes, I did do a video oh, yeah. for that uh, because I was just new to Facebook, so I was enjoying my day, and I just wanted and to... And he stopped doing Oliver videos. Uh, yes. Oliver was about to be a star. See, he, Oliver should punch you in the face, bro. Well, I'm sure... Well, you killed, till, him, well, you well, killed his stardom. Hey, first of all, wait till we get in the car. I had to drive him here, okay? So, <laughs> I'll, I'll hear it on the way home, all right, man? But, uh, no, I do have a lot of... Uh, or I should say we have a lot of different ideas for that. It's just... Uh, it's a it's a timing, and it's equipment. It's an equipment thing as well. Like, doing everything off of your phone like the the ideas that we have uh i feel like we could do really good skits but we would need like you, mean you and oliver well yeah are you offended no because <laughs> i was gonna be like oh what about me rj I'd be a <laughs> no, just, oh okay well that's well, y'all, well, no, that's no, y'all. No, no, i'm just saying but i do have a lot of or we do have a lot of good ideas uh but it's it's an equipment thing man i feel like i could do i have a bunch of ideas but i would need the time and the people to do it. So I'm I'm pretty sure down the line, if I'm ever rich one day, God, you know, God send me the money. We don't need to be rich. Yes, rich in spirit. You just got to have the power. Not, Not the power, the passion. The passion. The passion gives you the power to do with the power. power. Now, that made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> As, as you can see, do you need another beer, friend? Uh, do you, do you, yeah, I think uh, I do. Do you need another beer? Okay. Now I'm not making sense. So I need I need a beer to make me make sense. Yeah, right. Sober up a bit. But uh, so what's going on, man? Anything new and exciting in your life? Uh, well, I finished my master's degree. Congratulations! I am Thank very you. proud of you, by the way, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. As I reach into your fridge and drink your beer, I would. <laughs> oh, oh, and and, and throws beer, beer out of the refrigerator. Don't open that one right now. Uh, no, I'm definitely not opening. Here, we'll just give it to Oliver. That's all right. Okay, so here, you want a beer, man? Nah, he's good. He's good? I, he's driving, man. Yeah, he is driving. I forgot. Sorry, my bad. Don't worry. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got like... It sounds like you're taking a shit on the microphone. Does it? Does yeah. it? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <bleh. laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it, it, there are several ideas that I would like to do uh, in terms of maybe making a video or even making something along with him, but uh, in time. I definitely, I just got to get my foot in the door, man. And obviously taking the first step is yeah, the hardest. Yeah, we'll get there. It's, I mean, this, this is... Um, like I always say, this is a process. It, it, it's not going to always go as fast as you want. It's not always going to go as slow as you want. Uh, I guess Cause, so. Because when, when you want it to go slow, it has to go fast or it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no. It's, it's, it just, that, as long as you're moving forward, that's that's the biggest key. Yeah, baby steps, man, baby steps and whatnot. So I wanted to ask you, man, uh, we did uh, attempt to discuss this on Monday, uh, but unfortunately we did have that issue. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the the Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather fight that's coming uh, August 26th, I believe. I think it's the 26th, yeah. yeah. So I was going to ask you, do you think Conor McGregor has a chance of actually winning this fight? Um, as we, uh, uh, 
uh, like I said before, um, I think he has a puncher's chance, as they say. I know that's been kicked around so much. Oh, he has a puncher's chance. Uh, I mean, anybody can get clipped. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Um, Conor McGregor definitely has the power, and if he can get within range and hit Mayweather on the chin, it's possible. Um, but at the same time, he has to get within that range okay. without Floyd doing his thing as being the, like I said before, being the, the, the defensive fighter, the, the, the best defensive fighter in boxing history, arguably. Um, damn, that guy is so good, man. Like, it, it, dude, it, you, he's never, uh, I don't think he's ever, well, he clearly can't be ever have been knocked out because he's 49 and, and oh, so he's never been knocked out. No, none of his opponents have ever been a knock. But the only one person who's not even a boxer is going to be able to knock him out. Eh. Yeah, I know. That's uh, and again, I was going to say, do you think? Uh, I know I did ask you this the other day. Do you feel like that even the like technically before this fight, Mayweather was retired? And I throw that excuse me, I throw that word around loosely uh, because a lot of people say they're retired nowadays, and they always seem to come back for one last hurrah. Every well, night. that's usually fighters. Fighters, uh, for some reason, they can't ever figure out when to hang it up until it's too late. Some people can. Uh, like, here's a perfect example. Um, George St. Pierre. Yes, I did. I did yes, I did exactly. George St. Pierre. But this is the thing. George St. Pierre wants to come back. He retired, and now he wants to come back. But there, there's another one, uh, Brian Stan. He's a, His another, name does sound for me. He's a UFC fighter, correct? Uh, yeah, former Marine. He was fighting while he was on active duty, uh, got out of the Marine Corps, um, and then he retired after a few years. Um, now he does commentating for the UFC. Okay. But I don't see him coming back now, because he did it for reasons of brain trauma, um, like the whole thing we were talking about with OJ Simpson with CTE. CTE okay. He wanted to be when he gets older. He wanted to be able to because his fights were brutal. Like he would, he, would, he, he was. Are, in are, wars. These, are both of these gentlemen older? Like are they like? Brian Stan's not really older. He's Brian Stan's probably maybe slightly younger than me. Okay, because I would you know obviously with as you get older your body is obviously not going to be able to tolerate as much punishment as it once it's did. It's not so much the body; it's more the brain. Really? Uh, yeah, because the the more times you, uh, I don't like know. The, have you ever heard of people they get heat stroke? I've heard of heat stroke, but I'd, I I believe it or not, I would not be able to explain it to you off the top of my if head. If you heat stroke is basically your body is overheating and you pass out and you could die if you're not. Sleep. Yes, okay, yeah, that's why they put out all those warnings. Like, in the like your body is basically cooking itself, and your brain starts to cook itself as well. Really? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, with that, just like my point was, when you get knocked out, um, your body or your brain is wounded. I see. So just like with heat stroke, every, once you have it the first time, it's easier each time for you to get knocked out or get heat stroke so, so if you don't pay attention. Okay, so say I just want to make I want to clarify this make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Mm -hmm. So if if I if, if me and you are in in the octagon and we're fighting and then I unfortunately suffer from heat stroke well, and then that that's that, I was trying to use that as an example. Heat stroke has nothing to do with uh, uh in the octagon. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was something, you know, maybe no, I was just talking about like if I'm out on the street and I'm dehydrated okay. and then I I pass out because I haven't been drinking water or something. So, so if that's the very first time that it happened to you, you are more likely to have it happen again. Yes. Okay. Wow. That I actually did not know that. Yeah. I, I did not. Same know that. thing. Same thing with being knocked out, um, because y your brain is being injured, especially if you have not allowed the enough time for your brain to heal. So, if you get hit, knocked out, you know what happens when you get knocked out, or I know, no, not technically, man. Honestly, technically, basically, your when your head moves, your brain smacks against the skull, your skull. Okay. So that causes bruising or whatever, okay, and causes but, all that damage. Yeah. Okay. If you have not had enough time in between for your brain to heal, then next time you go in there and your brain hasn't healed, boom, you get hit again, you're out. Hmm. Well, that does obviously that's makes a lot of sense so yeah. thank you for clarifying that and teaching me something that i 
I thought I knew, but I didn't really know anything about. So thank you for that. Look at that. I do appreciate that. But back to the back to the fight, man. Um, I was going to ask you since. Uh, oh yeah, I got into his retirement. So he's coming out of retirement. Uh, this will be his technically his fiftieth, uh, you know, encounter, so to speak, professionally. Mm -hmm. Do you feel him coming out of retirement to fight a non-boxer will tarnish his legacy? And do you feel that it is is this fight good for boxing or if it's good for UFC? Um, I think it's good for the UFC um, because it gives exposure to a, a wider audience of, okay. of MMA slash Conor McGregor, um, Dana White, because uh -huh. he's he's one of the promoters um, on the UFC side. Um, so it's definitely good for MMA. Now, whether those people are going to see this in a negative light or a positive light is a different story, but if, this is boxing. It's not MMA. I don't think it's gonna hurt boxing in any way uh, because the hardcores are gonna be like well we knew that was gonna happen um the hardcore boxing fans yeah no of course um i'm kind of the casual boxing fans are probably gonna be like well we knew that was gonna happen um so you're saying I, it's gonna pull so you're basically every ufc fan is gonna pull for mcgregor just because they're like new to this i don't think that i'm a ufc fan and i'm not pulling for mcgregor well i'm not either i mean i, um, I don't want to say i not, hate to say that no it's not that i'm i just don't see it happening because but i'm not the casual fan you know what i'm saying i'm oh yeah i know I'm you're very more, intricate with yeah, uh, a lot of that stuff i'm more into the martial arts world so i, I can actually look at it from a different perspective i guess um i just don't see it happening uh yeah. not under boxing rules mma yeah he, pff, Conor will probably starch his ass but yeah be, i mean just because of the type well one because of all the martial arts involved and two just because of the type of fighter we know uh, yeah. mayweather to be to be a more you know a counter puncher and just more of a defensive fighter overall mm -hmm. uh what was i going to ask you oh, shit i'm having a brain fart oh yeah so do you think it's uh, going to tarnish his legacy at all man um, um, well, I'm not so much McGregor's, but Mayweather's. Just Mayweather's, been... um, no. Um, well, if he wins, no, because he's still fifty and zero. Um, and that's probably hit the biggest part of his legacy that he really cares about is remaining undefeated. Yeah, that's I, what I think. Oh, uh, of course, of course. I just, I was just curious because I feel like there are some of the, like you know, the hardcore fans that are just like, hey man, why is he? He's, it's obviously a big payday. Uh, the pay per view is probably going to be expensive. Uh, it's everybody's going to watch it, even if you're yeah. not. Motherfuckers like, are saying, oh, "I'm not going to watch it." Like, you're dude, a everybody's going to watch that fight. Uh, <laughs> you, look, everybody's don't, gonna... you can lie to me, but don't lie to yourself. Yeah, That's yeah, even worse. Much. Yeah, yeah. You're like you're just you know giving everybody you know like quit pulling the finger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like honestly, but uh, I did want to ask that, and I also wanted to ask you uh, on the topic of of, of boxing, um, and a lot of people feel this way. Do you feel boxing is a dying sport? No, no. Do you think it's just kind of in a trans uh, transgression of, of fighters and up and coming fighters? Um, I, I used to think Spock, 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 Spock. Help Spock. me, Spock, Spock. Wait, I told there you. There we go. Hey, live Star, long. I, I said Star Trek was going to come up. Yeah, live long. I didn't and say prosper. how much, how long. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna nerd salute. Okay, wait, put my wait, hand. where's your where's your finger? Wait, it's right here. No, your, your oh thumbs. my thumbs. Yes. Yeah, wait, did he doesn't do this? No. Oh shit! Wow, what were you doing? Like, well, yeah, I was just. That's the Romulan. The, oh man, live right. long and die. Oh shit, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Just like, but the Romulans are fucking assholes, though. They are assholes. The Romulans are cousins to the Vulcans. Oh yeah, we all know the Vulcans are some dicks. But anyway, <laughs> but the Vulcans are cool. Nah, well, no, I'm just messing. Well, they're they're just emotionless beings, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess that doesn't really make them a dick, now, does it? No. Okay. What so. was I saying? Shit, man! Now you got me. We're, uh, we're up here honoring Le Leonard Nimoy and we're forbidding everything. Well, we had to. Right? Yeah, there's rest in peace, yeah, yeah Nimoy. absolutely. Um, oh, we were guy. talking about tarnishing his legacy, uh, Mayweather's legacy. No. Oh no, boxing, oh, no, no. boxing, oh, boxing dying. dying. Yeah, no, boxing's not dying, uh, especially recently. Uh, well, what we got? We got a new breed coming up, okay. and people. I think people are starting to pay attention to boxing again, man. You got Canelo. You got oh, shit, Andre Ward. It's very fun. Uh, he's a very great fighter. Yeah, yeah, he's a very great fighter. Um, that Triple G guy. I'm, I'm not super into boxing, but I know enough. Yeah, people I, I am. That, 
I'm 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 at the cusp of I'm a casual fan. I know a technical side of it. Yeah. But as far as like the intricacies like I know about MMA. Yeah. Like most people who know me know how much I know about MMA. Well, yeah, I know you can probably break like every bone in my body before I even hit the ground. No, right? no, no, no. I'm not I'm, I'm just talking about, Are you sure about MMA that? in general. I'm not just talking about the actual physical part of MMA. I'm talking about Oh, you mean like form and technique and politics. All that, yeah. oh, no, I'm talking about politics, rules, um techniques when 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 people are in the cage. Like I I can sit and watch a, a actually there's UFC tonight. Um, so we got to kind of wrap. Actually, this, we're almost up on an hour, but, <clears throat> um, but the like, techniques in the cage, I can sit and watch a, a, um, a, a fight and set, tell them like, tell people, all right, this is the position that he's in. This is the position he needs to go to, blah, blah, blah. Not everybody just does that, but okay, they can't hear me if I'm screaming. Like, they can't hear me screaming through the TV anyway, but you know, but now, whatever. Now with the subject of boxing, uh, the question I just asked you in reference to it, uh, I know uh, we were at uh, a cookout last weekend and we did watch that uh, Pacquiao and Horn fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I did tell you uh, this past Monday when we attempted to do the show that I was very disappointed in the outcome of the fight. I believe, uh, I want to say a majority of people uh, that I've spoken to uh, that did see the fight are upset with it as well. Now, now that I'm asking you again days later, it makes me think, you know, this is a good way of keeping boxing alive and promoting it uh however uh, stuff like that man you know it does keep it interesting uh i'm over it now it's you know it's a fight it you know shit happens but i was very disappointed in the outcome of the fight because i am a pacquiao fan i know i do think a uh, horn uh you said he is an olympian or he was an olympian he was an uh, olympian for australia for australia obviously in boxing correct yeah okay so uh, I know that was his 17th uh, professional fight. Uh, he does seem like he does have a lot of uh, Still undefeated. Yeah, he's very talented. I'm not taking anything away from that. Uh, but I just felt the fight maybe over. We, maybe we could. Uh, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, maybe no. we could see a Mayweather-Horn fight. Ooh. Hey, I, did he? Pr I think I read that he wanted to propose I, that. He did. Yeah, I, he, did. I, I saw that. Okay, so, yeah, man, maybe well, see, it's, this it's, is it's why, getting to his head, But man. this is why this is why boxing's not dead because this stuff is, is bringing this type of thing is bring it back to light like you wouldn't have known last week who horn was unless the, the, he fought pacquiao and yeah, won that's true because if he if pacquiao would have because i was you know like i said i am a pacquiao fan i have seen him lose before and that's okay but to to young up-and-coming fighter man i expected the guy to give give a good effort but i i didn't i don't think any of us expected it to go the distance um, no, I, I was I, I was looking for a knockout. I was hoping for it because again, I'm a I'm a Pacquiao fan too, so I was looking for a knockout. Um, didn't get it. Uh, and after talking, well, yeah, talking and reading what other professional boxers, uh, people who are in the boxing world, had to say, they all thought that the fight was a lot closer to than the the scorecards. The, 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 a lot closer than people thought that were the, like like we thought it was Pacquiao all the way, but a lot of people were scoring it like one one fifteen to one thirteen. Well, there either was one way, guy, so. one guy had I think one seventeen to one twelve or something like one that. one of so, the judges. Yeah, one of the judges, man. That's yeah, but a, I'm saying people were people who I know in that world who are either professional boxers or trainers said that they thought the fight was closer than people actually thought. The, the the mass majority thought it was. Yeah, it's true. We were uh, I was drinking at that time as well, and so were well, you. But. Well, we, we, <laughs> we were at a barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, yeah, no shit, right? When are you supposed to just sit around and play Yahtzee and whatnot? But uh, I did want to ask you that just because Yahtzee. Yahtzee is actually very fun. Uh, I've never. Do played. you think what, you you you've never played Yahtzee? I think I did when I was a kid, but I didn't like. Did it. you like? Is that the shit where with the pop pop pop? No, no, I know, I know what game that is. I can't think of the name of it. It's got the dice in the middle, and you yeah, just push you it down, pop, and it pops up. Yeah. God, what the hell is the name of that game? That's so crazy that I actually forgot about that. And I'll I know that's like up. completely here. See, see you keep you going. I'll look it up. Okay, so on the topic of, uh, I guess, well, I guess board games now. Um, there was a what was it? Uh, I actually had the Jumanji board game when I was a kid. Speaking of Jumanji, I know they're that movie looks weak as shit. <sighs> well, I don't know. Now, so you're saying is it's not a sequel? 
I don't I, know. I have not seen. I haven't I, even seen the trailer. But like anything with The Rock and Kevin Hart done. Come on, man. It's a comedy. It's not well, a fucking like the original Jumanji. Granted, it was Robin Williams, who's a comedian. But, that but was the movie good. was not a co- a comedic movie. It was no, it, it, it was, was actually an action dark. action adventure. Not I thought it was like for a kids movie. It, it was, was very dark. dark. Yeah, yeah, it had very dark undertones to it. Uh, nah, man, I I did see the trailer for it. Uh, it is no longer a board game. It is actually a video game that they're using. I guess that's something that they're doing right, to keep yeah, up. That, with ma- that. I, that makes sense because um, it's keeping up with time, the yeah. times and whatnot. Because I mean, I don't know anybody that. No more, or pull no more. out a board game and say, "Hey, you guys want to play uh, shoots and ladders and and whatnot?" <laughs> you know, I'm just shoots and ladders. It's like a kid's first game. You, yeah, you never played like Candyland or anything like that, man. No, I put, no, I'm saying I played that stuff, but that, like when I was like five. Yeah, so I guess them trying to keep up with I guess the modernization of things. It, it is a video game now, but I did see the trailer. Uh, I know it's it's a family popcorn flick. Uh, that's what it's looking like to me, but I still think I'm going to go see it. What does that mean? What, like a popcorn? Fl- I don't know. Mm. It's just like a fun movie to watch. It's not like mm. you don't go – because I think sometimes when people go into movies, man, I think they don't – I think they anticipate too much. Like if you know – like, for example, if you know you're going to see Transformers, man, you know, think of it like I know I'm going to go see a bunch of robots beating the crap out of each other. It's going to have some some, you know – basic storyline but you're there for the action you're there for the entertainment of it and people were expecting you know i guess oscar worthy performances out of movies like this or they're just expect- well I, I, but do you I, get what i'm saying that so i, much- I feel what you're saying but at the same time yeah we i think we talked about this on monday too i'm i'm kind of done with the whole transformer oh yeah no I'm, I'm uh, franchise like i think i was done after I want to say two to be honest. No, two. I I did see uh, two was so terrible, but I did. I've seen the first three. Two was I, the one where they were in the desert, right? Yeah, and the fucking robot had the giant mass balls. Did you remember that, dude? <laughs> did you remember that? I hate to bring <laughs> I that up. No, I, 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 I don't remember that part. <laughs> I guess me bringing it up. It's. <laughs> I don't remember that part. Yeah, what I, the fuck? I wonder why I'm single sometimes. I guess. <laughs> I guess he did. I don't know. Is that the? You, oh, you mean the old guy? Like that no. was Le, that was Leonard? No, not, Leonard Nimoy was in. He, he was in the. Th- third one he did the voice of uh yeah but he, you could tell it was him but uh even no, in the face no but there they have like the big i guess the, the 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 final encounter in the desert and then the one robot god i can't think of his name i actually had a toy as a kid and i can't think of his damn name off the top of my head but he had like he i guess transformed oh you need a bottle opener you got one what i think you had it last i these are twist off man i keep uh, my life uh, simple oh well, yeah you're right well do you have to get up? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was going to say I can talk about professional wrestling while you're away, but I don't want to bore the audience. Um, no, but I remember he transformed over the pyramid, and then they just had these, like, two fucking huge I, – I don't even I don't feel comfortable even talking about it anymore, honestly. But if anybody's seen the movie, uh, which I think a lot of people have, you will know the part I'm talking about. But once I saw that, I was kind of like, okay, that's a bit much. It's not necessary. So, yes, uh, when it comes to – the Transformers movies. I will watch them if they're on TV for free or if they come up on Netflix just because, uh, well, I, w- I wouldn't mind seeing them, but I'm not paying 15 or whatever it is amount to go to the theater and watch it. I'm, I'm just not. There's only, it takes a lot for me to go to the movies nowadays. I won't lie to you. Um, I know that uh, The Amazing Spider-Man uh, is, uh, came out yesterday. Which we could talk about on the next podcast. Okay, so. so Actually, we need, to, we need to go see it first. Before we even talk about it, because actually we need to wrap this one up. No, we're going to wrap this one up. Okay, yeah. so uh, while while we still have a little bit of life left in us, because and, we and have I crack a beer, even yeah. though it's the end. Yeah, it's all right. Well, it's it's the beginning of the end. Wait, does that does that didn't make sense? Did it? Yes. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, this is why we have to take breaks sometimes, just because uh, I lose train of thought uh, rather frequently. Oh, so, by the way, the pop up game is a shitload of different type of pop up games. Wait, here, no, it's that one. Here, can I, I know it looks what it looks like, but there's a bunch of them. Hold on, here. Before we end the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, I have to find. Can you click on the image? What is the name of it? Uh, this is Cardinal Thomas and Friends. No, like, there's a bunch of. There, there, no, I'm serious. No, there's, there's a bunch. There's a Dory one now. There's just a bunch of them. Like, oh, man, crap. What you? I know what you're talking about, but I we'll we'll figure it out and then we'll come back with yes. it next time. It's just all coming back to me at once at the moment, so I do apologize about that. But uh, everybody, thank you for listening to the second the second episode of the Mad Scientist Lab. Thank you, Jared. You can catch us at 
uh, on Twitter at the Mad Lad Podcast. Um, you can also get us on Facebook. Please like, comment, uh, subscribe the YouTube channel. Um, what, what, whenever you get the video. Yeah, um, and I would like to say uh, we would appreciate any type of feedback. We do want to make this experience, I guess, the best possible for everybody because yep. this is something new to us as well. So we want to do what we can to make it more entertaining for you guys. If anybody has any type of idea, uh, we are more than willing to listen. We are very, uh, I guess we're open-minded people. Yeah, we're uh, somewhat open-minded. Yeah, well, Jared's. Well, Jared, I have my things like people. Jared, are, people already know. Like, uh, if you have a suggestion, you can come yeah. see me first because Jared might put you in a chokehold. No, <laughs> you can put it. You can put it in the comments, and I'll decide oh, okay. whether I like it or not. Okay, well, because it's uh, our show, okay. not yours. Yes, uh, we have to. <laughs> we have to point that out as well. But uh, everybody, again, thank you very much for listening, and we will see you on the next episode. Okay, and oh, and don't worry, Oliver, will still be here. All right, and oh, is it working? Is it working? Oh, it cheer. froze up on a second. Had to make. Bang, bang. All right, man. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, here, shut it off, please. I don't want anybody to keep watching this. It's probably like a question. The Merit Scientist Lab. The Merit Scientist Lab. The Merit Scientist Lab. The Merit Scientist Lab. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The, the, the merit science.